don't have a full-blown swamp monster situation? What if you just have a small leak? Right, just a little drip, drip, drip. Exactly. That's where things get interesting, because a tiny drip might seem like no big deal, right? But Barry King seems to be operating from this different philosophy. They seem to be saying that even a minor leak could be a symptom of a much larger invisible issue that's lurking beneath the surface. Okay, so like ignoring a crack in a damn wall, eventually that small crack is going to become a catastrophic failure. Exactly. It's about taking that long-term perspective. Like, yeah, a quick fix might seem cheaper up front, but if it doesn't address the underlying problem, then you could end up paying a lot more in the long run. Yeah, that's true. And then on top of that, you've got the whole health aspect. They mentioned a commitment to a safe and clean working environment on their site. Right. And that's not something you always see from a waterproofing company. So it suggests that they're not just concerned about the health of your building, but also the health of their employees, you yeah. know, and even the environment when you think about it. It all kind of ties back into this idea of them being the good guys of waterproofing. Very thorough, very ethical and not afraid to go the extra mile. I like that, the good guys. But speaking of going the extra mile, let's talk about their product lineup. Hmm. They seem to have everything but the kitchen sink. Hopefully a waterproof one, though. Yeah, their product range is really impressive when you start digging into it. They've got sealants and membranes, primers. They even have a breathable paint, which I thought was interesting. <laughs> breathable paint, what will they think of next? Right. But they're clearly using their expertise to develop this whole ecosystem of waterproofing solutions. Yeah, and I was particularly intrigued by their Berry Seal product line. Okay, tell me more about that. They even have a DIY kit. Oh, wow. Which makes me think they're not totally opposed to, you know, homeowners tackling those smaller projects themselves. That's a really interesting point. It shows that they're not just interested in, like, you know, selling the most expensive service, which some companies are. Yeah. They're also willing to... Um, empower homeowners, give them the tools and knowledge to, like, take control of their own waterproofing needs in a way. Right. Maybe it's their way of combating those cheap and nasty practices they mentioned earlier. Oh, that's a good point. By giving people the right tools and the knowledge to do it right the first time, they're preventing those bigger problems down the line. Yeah, absolutely. It's like they're saying, hey, we'd rather teach you to fish than just sell you a fish. Right. They're really investing in educating their customer base, which builds trust. And ultimately, I think it benefits everyone involved. Totally. It makes you wonder, is this the future of waterproofing? Are we going to see more companies embracing this data-driven kind of holistic approach to waterproofing. I think it's hard to say for sure. Yeah. But there's definitely this growing awareness of the importance of sustainability and long-term thinking, I'd say, particularly in construction. And Barry King seems to be, you know, kind of ahead of the curve in that regard, at least from what we're seeing. Yeah. And they're claimed to be the only company in Africa that's mm. using this particular method. I mean, that's a bold statement to make. Why aren't more companies adopting this scientific and engineered yeah. approach if it's so effective? It's a real head scratcher, isn't it? Yeah. Is it a cost factor? Is it a lack of awareness? Or maybe Beery King. Maybe they've stumbled onto something truly unique that other companies haven't quite figured out yet. It could be a bit of all of those things, right? Right. But whatever the reason, it definitely sets them apart from their competition. It's like they found the secret formula for waterproofing success, and now they're running with it. And that, my friend, is what makes this whole deep dive so intriguing. Like, we're not just looking at a company here. We're looking at like a potential paradigm shift in how we think about waterproofing as a whole. It's like <laughs> Barry King's got this whole waterproofing thing down to a science while everyone else is still just like using buckets and prayers. Right. So if we take a step back from the blueprints here, we let our notes dry out a little bit. What would you say are the key takeaways about Barry King? For me, I think it really comes down to three big things. One, they're not just contractors. They're like waterproofing detectives. Oh, okay. They really want to understand the why behind every leak. They're not just slapping a bandage on the symptom. It's like they're doing like CSI yeah. basement or something. Exactly. And second, they are all about those long-term solutions. Yeah. They're not interested in quick fixes that fall apart after a year. They're playing the long game here, using that scientific and engineered approach to create systems that are actually built to last. Yeah, it makes sense. And third. Third, they're just clearly passionate about what they do. Like you can tell just from the website, they take pride in their work. They care about their clients and they're not afraid to challenge the status quo. Right. And honestly, that is something you don't find every day. Definitely not. 
So the big question is, are Barry King and their mysterious inner rubber system the future of waterproofing? Should we all be ditching our old contractors and jumping on the Barry King bandwagon? Well, like with any big decision, I always say it's best to do your homework. Of course, yeah. But I think, based on what we've seen, Bear King, they present a pretty compelling case. They've got the experience, the expertise, and definitely the commitment to back up their claims. And they're not afraid to be really upfront about their methods and their philosophy. I mean, mm -hmm. they lay it all out there on their website. Mm -hmm. Even if they don't always go into the nitty gritty details, yeah. they do seem to have this underlying belief that, you know, an educated client is a happy client, which I like. Absolutely. They're transparent, they're thorough, and they're clearly not afraid to challenge, like, the norms of the industry, which is refreshing. It makes you think, you know, could this scientific and engineered approach be applied to other areas of construction? Like, what if we could build houses that aren't just waterproof, but they're also, like, self-healing, mm. energy-efficient, practically future-proof? It's a fascinating thought, isn't it? And it really speaks to, like, you know, Barry King's focus on innovation and their whole, occult, like, holistic approach to this. This could be, like, a sign of things to come for the construction industry as a whole. It's very possible. So there you have it. If this deep dive into the world of Barry King and their scientific and engineered waterproofing has sparked your curiosity, even just a little bit, I'd say go check out their website. Explore their world a little bit further. You might just discover the future of waterproofing, or maybe even the future of building itself.